Hey, what's going on YouTube? I uh, just want to make a quick video today um, about, um, you know, Stephen A. Smith's comments on uh, what Brandon Marshall had to say about Tom Brady. Uh, please excuse my attire, but I'm about to get this workout in. And But I felt like this video needed to be posted, so I want to go ahead and do it. Basically, Brandon Marshall is a, is a pretty good wide receiver. And he, you know, everyone knows the Tom Brady situation, the deflate gate, and how he was supposed to be suspended for four games. The suspension got basically erased, and he doesn't have to be suspended anymore. And Brandon Marshall made three comments, okay? One thing he said was there are players in the NFL who um, support Tom Brady. Either they want him to play, or, you know, they're competitive players and they want to play against Tom Brady, okay? Number two, you got... Tom Brady haters are people who are just afraid of Tom Brady. Either they want to see Tom Brady fail, so he has to sit out for four games, or they're just afraid of Tom Brady. Like, man, oof, man, we might not have to play Tom Brady for four games, so that's great. Then you have people, in Brandon Marshall's words, play the race card. He says that there are players in the NFL, black and white, who feel like Tom Brady and white quarterbacks especially get more fair treatment from Roger Goodell in the NFL than black players. Now, the reason why this video is called, or titled, Is Stephen A. Smith Uncle Tom? Is because he has a, well, black folks seem to think that he has a tendency to uh, overpraise white athletes and the white man in general. Um, you know, and a lot of black folks are turned off by that and they call him a coon or an Uncle Tom. And so, Stephen A. Smith's comments basically... He went on a, on a Tom Brady praise fest and pretty much said, you know, he's a model citizen. He doesn't get in trouble off the field. And it's pretty much not a race issue. And my response to that is, Stephen A., he had a point, okay? There's a lot of black players in the NFL who get in trouble. Like, and Dominican Sue, he gets in trouble for playing dirty on the field. All right? You got players uh, off the field who are getting in trouble for domestic violence, black players beating up their wives. Yeah, we had the Riley Cooper N-word thing, which I'm disappointed. I feel like the Riley Cooper should have gotten a lot more trouble than he did. But, you know, back to the black players, you know, we got to beating up our wives and our girlfriends off, uh, off the field. All right, now that's an issue. And so obviously, if you're having issues like that off the field versus a guy who not only doesn't have any reported incidents off the field, but also seems like a pretty nice guy and a guy that knows how to shut his mouth, Stephen A. has a point there in saying that, hey, you know, this guy, he, um, he shouldn't be, you know, he deserves the benefit of the doubt. The only issue with Stephen A.'s comments, I felt, is that he went a little too far with the Tom Brady praise, and he didn't keep it just football. I would have been more okay if he would have said the, the standard needs to be the same for all players as far as punishment, not praising Tom Brady as a reason to say, this guy doesn't get punished because he seems like a good guy, and these guys get punished because they do stupid stuff off the field. Is that the way it should be? Should the nice guy get a fair, sh like a more of a fair shake? Probably. And I just wish that Stephen A. would have said that. But um, just one quick note on that. On that also, guys. Um, one thing about me, obviously, I hate racism. I hate racism in every form. Uh, with these white cops and these black teenagers. And also black folks going after white officers. I feel like any kind of racism is wrong and it needs to stop. But one thing about me is a white man can call me the N-word. Because I told myself I'll stop actually using the N-word in my videos. But a white man can call me the N-word with the hard E-R at the end. And that honestly would hurt less than a black person calling me a coon or an Uncle Tom. Because when you call me a coon or an Uncle Tom... And I don't know how Stephen A. feels about this, but the way I feel about it is, you're pretty much saying that I'm kissing up to the white man and I've turned my back on black folks. And to me, that hurts a lot worse than someone calling me the N-word, even if it's an old white man. But, you know, that's just really my thoughts on that. Um, guys, uh, that's the end of this video. Um, later tonight, I mean, it's going to be late when these videos are posted because you know, I've been at work all day, but... Uh, it will be the L.A. Clippers season preview. Um, you guys know that I'm a Golden State Warriors fan, but I'm going to be fair in this video. 
it's not, nothing about the rivalry, anything like that. It's just going to be straight up, you know, how I feel about Chris Paul, Lance Stevenson, Austin Rivers, Blake Griffin, uh, DeAndre Jordan Crawford, uh, the acquisition of Paul Pierce, Doc Rivers, that kind of stuff. It's new owner, Steve Ballmer. Um, so that's what that video is going to be on. It's going to be fair, so don't be turned off by the video because I'm a Golden State Warriors fan. It's not going to be like that. It's just going to be straight up facts and how I feel that they're going to do. Um, so stay tuned for that. Also, uh, A Day in the Life of Kendall Green will be posted. The next episode will probably be on Saturday. Uh, hopefully, you feel me? Uh, I think. Yeah, I want to uh, post it Saturday. So, Ho or nah, probably Sunday. Sunday. Sunday is a good day to get it done. Wow, football's on Sunday. Monday. <laughs> a Day in the Life Part 3 will be on Monday. Thank you guys for watching this video and uh, look out for uh, these videos in the next few days. Thanks for watching.